Hi everyone. Um, in light of the recent invasion of the Ukraine by Russia, I wanted to do this sunflower painting in support of the Ukrainian people and all those who have been infected by this invasion of the Ukraine by Russia. Uh, our hearts and thoughts go out to all the Ukrainian people and those who have relatives in the Ukraine that are U.S. that live here in the U.S. Um, our, heart, our hearts and our thoughts go out to all of you um, and we wish this to uh, come to an end and, and cease you know as quickly as and safely as possible and I will leave a um, link to UNICEF so that people can donate to the children and the families who are directly affected um, <clears throat> by this invasion and are displaced from their homes. Um, it's extremely important so I will leave a link to the UNICEF donation um, for the Ukraine. I chose to do a sunflower painting because the sunflower is the national flower of the Ukraine and a symbol of the solidarity and resilience of the Ukrainian people. Um, and I love kind of the happy kind of quality that sunflowers have and we wish, you know, the Ukrainian people peace and harmony as soon as possible. Um, so that there's resolution and um, and help for them. So the sunflower, the sunflower painting I wanted to do is a swipe. Um, and as you see here too, I am doing something a little different. I'm doing a center for the sunflowers. I'm doing two, one on each side, and I'm doing the centers as a pearl cell kind of treatment. So I have some sapphire modern masters over the top of um, some lightly blue tinted pearl cell mixture uh, so that my center would have that kind of seed like quality with these blue pearl cells popping up so that the colors would be in the blues and in the yellows um, of the Ukrainian flag. Uh, so as you see here some of the pearl cells are already starting to pop up and I was trying to scrape off some of the paint because I didn't want too much of that sapphire because it's almost got a blackish gray quality to it too um, and really it's just gonna be to highlight the pearl cells that are blue that will pop through and as you see here it, it did and I'm showing you the pieces of plastic that I um, am swiping with they're just some kind of plastic vellum that I've cut you know to shape and I cut two sizes so that the petals would have a little bit of variety of size to them to make it a little bit more interesting. And as you see here, I am measuring so that I get a general idea that the center is relatively about six inches in uh, diameter, that half circle, um, so that we keep them somewhat the same. And then I'm going to use my paints and do my half circle and kind of get my my feeling of the half circle back, um, you know, so that I have more of a symmetrical circular half circle to work off of. I'm putting some white paint around the outside of my kind of yellowish gold. I mixed a little bit of yellow into some 24 karat gold. And then the, the uh, cell activator is Amsterdam titanium white mixed with a little bit of gold as well, 24 karat in there, um, just a tiny bit. And that color there is fire opal. I'm, I used a little bit of that. That's just kind of like a really pretty coppery color. Um, and then I used some regular um, 24 karat gold. That's the 24 karat gold there that is just 24 karat. 
uh, deco art. And then I also used a color that is Modern Masters Warm Silver, and that's a really pretty and unusual color. It's sort of silvery, but it's sort of got a warm tone to it too, which is interesting, so I thought it would possibly make an interesting color combination to do my swipes with. So there you see me putting down some more of that cell activator to pull it through and uh, do the petals, but I didn't get it to go quite as far as I wanted it to, so there I am trying to pull it out a little farther. And you'll see me do this kind of over and over, and I, I start doing it in sections. Um, I needed to put a little bit more paint down there in general because I had scraped off some of that um, sapphire color. And as you see there, I kind of grabbed some of the sapphire color and I have to go back and fix that. Um, but this is kind of a process and when you do these swipes, you kind of have to keep doing it and kind of going back and layering the petals and, and doing it, um, you know, several times. Um, over just to get the desired effect that you want. Um, I tried to keep it a little freer. This is a pretty abstract um, set of sunflowers, but I really like that. And I like how that pearl cell blue is kind of shining through. And it's, it's kind of symbolically beautiful. Um, the feeling that you get with the center of that being the blue of the Ukrainian flag kind of represented there and then the yellow of the sunflowers and I kept my sunflowers pretty um, pastel they're kind of light and these colors dried pretty lightly um, and I like that because I'm going to do this in two parts this is part one and I'm gonna do the another um, another second part to this with some embellishments that are going to be even more symbolic to um, the Ukraine and in support of the Ukraine and the resilience of its people and how our hearts and our thoughts are with them. Um, so please be on the lookout for the part two of this as well. Um, I'm hoping it's going to turn out really beautiful. I'm, I'm really kind of loving how it ends up. It, it, it is, like I said, very ab abstract, and I wanted it to be that way um, so that the embellishments will show up even more. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. So yeah, so be on the lookout and keep checking back with my channel because I will be putting um, the embellishment part of this painting in another episode uh, coming up soon. liking this video, you're enjoying it, and find it inspirational and informative, please hit the like button. And when you do, uh, subscribe to my channel, and please ring the bell when you subscribe and you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And leave me a comment, because I lo really love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you like, maybe what you didn't like, or what you would like to see in future videos. Now, you'll see me making little stacked towers of color and putting that lighter, um, kind of goldish, um, lightish, white toned cell activator at the top of it and then dragging um, my plastic vellum across to create the petals and stretch it out um, farther. And so I just keep going around doing that same thing and layering those petals until I get kind of the desired effect and look that I'm going for. 
I kept my colors for this particular swipe a little thinner than I normally would um, purposely because I wanted it to kind of have a lighter kind of more ethereal quality to it because of the embellishments that I told you about that I'll be doing in the part two of this um, pour and I really love how it was turning out and how it did turn out. It's it's very light. It has a very subtle, soft quality to it, almost watercolor-like. And that's really kind of the effect that I was going for. Um, and it will make kind of a perfect backdrop for the embellishments that I will have in part two of this video. Now, Julie E. was before me at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at Acrylic Painting with Julie E. If you didn't see her video, please go back and check her out. And after me, um, coming up at 7.30 p.m. is Angie Mason Fluid Art. I know she'll have something great for her live premiere this evening. And after her at 8 p.m. is k, k Create. Please visit their channel and check out their live premiere as well. I really love kind of how this uh, pearl cell center to this sunflower turned out. Uh, it was really kind of fun to do <clears throat> and it gave me that feeling of those seeds um, towards the you know half circle inside of the sunflower and like I said be sure and check back with me soon. I will have part two of this video where I'll show you the kind of symbolic embellishments in support of the Ukrainian people. Please go to the description box and check out the link for UNICEF where you could donate to Ukraine during this difficult time. Well, thank you for hanging out with me, and then I hope you enjoyed um, seeing this swipe come to life. And please check back with me again soon, and we'll have some more fun pouring together.